there are a couple of things that you can do to to uh, create a, a more inclusive and respectful place for conversation online. And one of those things is that we all have a personal responsibility. So when I discuss with other people online, I should be aware of not to be too disrespectful and, and not say anything that that uh, uh, will will hurt other people too much or be uh, dishonest in, in any way. Another thing is that we have a, a common responsibility of, uh, uh, of keeping a respectful tone in the conversations we have online so that if I say something that is uh, out of line other people should tell me that I'm stepping out of line and that can have a uh, a soothing effect on, on, on uh, the vitriolity of um, online conversation. A third very fairly uh, simple thing that you can do is uh, the Norwegian public television company NRK, they instituted a, a rule that in order to comment any of their material online you have to answer some, uh, some knowledge questions to prove that you have actually read the content and that can have uh, an effect on the, the language you use. Another thing I learned of um, recently was a uh, scientific experiment where they, you know, when you comment things online, you can have uh, upvotes and downvotes and you can like or dislike, but they instituted uh, something they called a uh, respect button, which means that you can show that I don't share your opinions, but I, I respect your opinions and your right to express them. And those are some small things you can do to, to make the, uh, the, the level and the tone of conversation online and in social media a bit more respectful and inclusive.